Then I get dressed up in all kinds of paraphernalia and show up to your funeral like it means something special. All right. But when we rally about it, you ain't even got the courage to stand on the block. And that's what we're saying out here today. People want you to believe that this is about something that it's not about. They want you to believe that we're doing this because of the, the boss over there who's a friend of mine. That's right. No. The pastor who is a friend of mine. That's right. That's right. Dr. Howard. That's right. I guess he didn't know he would be by his church today. <laughs> Said they couldn't come here because they thought it was a political stunt. This ain't no damn political stunt. And how can you be afraid of politics when you are protected by God? How can you be afraid of these streets and these children and these neighborhoods? What do little old Raz Baraka say out of his mouth that can make you afraid when God is your savior? Can you talk about me and what I say when you kneel and prostrate to the creator of the universe? That should give you the power and the authority and the will to get your black butt out here and say be and make it happen. And if we really had power, every church on every block you can walk up Springfield Avenue. There's about 30 churches on every corner. They could come out here with their congregation and do a thousand times better than what we do. Won't a, won't a person move and do it if they just had the courage? If they wasn't opportunists? If they believe, really believed in the God that they serve and love the children in this community, then they would shut this whole neighborhood down. Whether they got a grant or not. Say that again. They didn't put their church together for no grant. Jesus turned over the tables of the money lender. Now you didn't think I knew nothing about the Bible, did you? <laughs> he turned over the tables in the market. He said it was easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into heaven. So you organize this for money? This is for our lives. And if, and if, if no rally meant nothing to me, this rally means something today. This rally today means something to me today. And I don't need no damn mic. This rally today is important to me. I feel this one today. People saying that we doing this for nothing. I don't feel like nothing when I leave. When I leave here, I feel like something. I don't know how you feel, but I feel good when I leave. I feel good when they couldn't get on 280. I feel great when they couldn't get past 21. I felt beautiful on Broad and Market. I saw Lawrence Goldman last night. He smiled and shook my hand because we took over MJ Pack too. I feel good. So if you think you're doing nothing, that means you believe that you're nothing. I believe that I'm something. And that what we're doing is something. And I don't care if it was 10 of us out here. I don't care if it was 10 of us. Then it'd be 10 more people that's doing the right thing. That's organizing for the right thing. That care. They keep saying this stuff. All this negativity bombarding us because we rallying. Can you believe it? It's crazy. If we was out here busting people over the head, they might not have nothing to say. 
but we haven't rallied. No. I become public enemy number one because we rally in the same people's lives. How sick is our community? How sick is this city? It's sick. It's sick. And right now, all of the people that lost their lives, they're out here with us today. And you need to know that. When you come, they come. They hear in your heart and your soul and your spirit and your mind. They hear with you right now. And they are happy that this is happening. Trust and believe. Yes, sir. We've had 10 rallies. That's right. Not one incident. Not one. No. We didn't disturb nothing, break nothing, no, cause no trouble about nothing. That's right. We came, we said we had to say, we left. The police will be happy they got overtime. <laughs> they I don't even want it now. They got overtime. So they should be happy. Putting the cameras on the roof, motorcycles, paddy wagons. Did y'all see all do y'all see all this stuff they doing to us? Yes, sir. Motorcycles. Fifteen motorcycles. Four or five police cars. Two and three paddy wagons. Cats on the roof. There was a cop on the roof of the movie theater at Springfield Island. With a camera. When he was on Burger Street, he was on top of the bank. With a camera. Like we was about to rob the bank. That's what they do. It's absurd. The way they treat us is intimidation, really. When the rallies first started, people put out rumors that the Bloods and the Crips was going to shoot the rallies up. That's what they said. You walk to the corner, you might get shot up. Lady on this Avenue got shot going to the damn store to get milk. They're going to shoot up the rallies. Damn it, I'd rather die at a rally. I'd rather die at a rally. Standing up like a man. Than die like a coward on my face. In the middle of a gutter somewhere. Drunk and standing for nothing. I'd rather they arrest me at the damn rally. Than walk me out of back of City Hall for stealing the people's money. <laughs> I'd rather die right here in front of all of you than you know that I died for a reason than for them to find me somewhere on the street like they find our children. And our children will continue to die like that until we get some damn courage to stand up and do something about their lives. Until then, and I'm not afraid of any of this stuff. I'm not afraid of what they say, That's right. what they do, That's right. they threaten your job, yeah. they tell your friends to stay away from you, That's right. yeah. they talk to the children even, That's right. these people are demons, That's right. they talk to the children, tell the children to stay away from you, That's right. threaten your job, That's right. put out rumors, try to hurt you, That's right. try to hurt you for doing good and right, That's right. but I feel good because people better than me have gone through worse than me. People bigger than me have gone through worse than me. They told rumors about Jesus. Put that man on the cross. I'm not afraid of any of that. Or all your cops. Or all the people with the cameras. Or all the stuff that you do. It don't matter to me. And I don't give a damn about this election. You want to say, put that in the newspaper today. The star that is here right now. Barack, I don't care about that election in 2010. I don't care if I lose it 50 damn times. My creator didn't put me here to be the damn councilman in the first place. I'm here to do what I'm doing today. And I do this the best and I'm going to do it until I die.